Hey everyone, today I thought I would update you on how it's going in these three side planners. Of course, I have my main planner here, actually off to the side. So this is my main everyday planner, but these are my side planners, which I use for documenting different things. This one is the Hobonichi Cousin, which is my design slash work planner. This is the Hobonichi Weeks, which is my wellness planner. And this is my Hobonichi A6, which is my memory keeping planner. So I'll just start at the top then. So interestingly, this has been the hardest one to keep up with. So let me show you here in the perpetual calendar. I started using this for like word of the day or phrase of the day, but I quickly changed it to gratitude of the day. And I've been happy that I've been keeping up with that. So every day I just write something I'm grateful for. And I've really been enjoying at the end of the day, just thinking about my day. And even if I had a really bad day, finding one thing that I'm grateful for. So I think this is a really good practice for me personally. And then here's the monthly. So we're in February now, here's January. It looks like I didn't complete this spread down here, but actually, what this whole spread is for is to document highlights for the month. So special things that happen, special things I want to note. Nothing much happened during these weeks. That's why it's blank. So that kind of bothers the neurotic side of me. Like I like to see things more complete, but I'm trying to let that go and be like, the purpose of this is to do highlights and nothing really significant happened during this time. And that's okay. Another thing I really, really liked about this spread and this planner is this side column and I use this for my wins. So anything that I did during the month that I'm kind of proud of, I would put a little star and write it here. So that's been kind of fun. So it's like giving myself a little award. And then here I'll do a little flip through of my daily pages. So these daily pages I mentioned before are for memory keeping and journaling. Still haven't set my goals for the year. Here you can see I did my planner lineup, some journaling. And here's another thing, like I'm trying to let go of the pressure that I was putting myself to fill a whole page. I don't need to fill a whole page. If I wrote enough of what I wanted to express for that day, then I'm trying to let myself be okay with just ending it here and not feeling like I had to force myself to go all the way down to the bottom. Some memory keeping, some more memory keeping some journaling, little a little note from one of my best friends, just more journaling. And then this is a dream bag I have. It's fun to put those kind of things in here too. From the 27th till today, I haven't put anything. And there's a couple of different reasons why, which I'll explain in a minute, but that's something that's really hard for me too. I really struggle with this. Like, I don't know what's the term. I just like to have things look more finished. So things like, you know, the pages where I don't go all the way down to the bottom or where it looks like, you know, I didn't fill out anything here or even blank pages really bothers me a lot. And I know that's my own issue, but I'm trying to let go of that issue and be okay with it. So this is my memory keeping planner. And for the most part, I've really been enjoying taking a little bit of time at the end of each day and filling this out. My other planner here is my wellness planner. This one is really plain. Like I don't even put deco in here or anything. It's really just for documenting and I could be messy. Like here you see I scribble things out. This perpetual calendar is for tracking certain health stats. And you can see here for the most part, I did really well. Actually, what I forgot to do is I was gonna do some averages up here for the month. So after I complete the month, I was going to average the numbers and put it up here, so I still have to do that. But here is the monthly section, so here's January, and here's where I log all our dinners. And then I highlight any time we've eaten out. We were kind of doing okay here, and then it kind of really got bad here. There's a correlation, you can see eating bad those blank pages in here. And then I'll show you back here in my weekly section. But basically I just like to see number one, what we've eaten so I'm not repeating things too much. And number two, how often we're eating out. So this is a good at a glance reference of that. And then 
in the weekly section. I really actually have been enjoying filling this out. So here is where I track my water intake, my meds, and then what I eat every meal, snack, and all of that. I track on this side. And then here I track my sleep and my mood. And then here I write any reflections for the week, what I think, like if I had a bad eating, you know, couple days, I try to write about it over here, like what I think happened. And then I highlight my takeaways. And so I've been doing that every week, pretty consistently, and kind of learning how different things are affecting my mood and my mental and physical health. So even here, you can see during this week, I start mentioning my mental health is low. And this is the week in here where I started having the blank pages, which is interesting to kind of see, okay, what was I eating? How much sleep was I getting? What's really affecting my mental health? And then here, which is the current week, you can see I start really falling off on my tracking. And that's okay. I'm not saying that's not okay, but what's helping me is to see oh, what could be affecting that? Like what's going on? So I find this really, really interesting. And then another place I could look is in here, which I'll show you in a second. But this section back here, I haven't really done much with. This is a bunch of note paper and I wanted to use this section for writing notes about mental health, physical health, doctor notes, anything but I haven't had much of that come up. So that's my wellness planner. And then I have my work slash design planner. This is my Hobonichi cousin. I mentioned before that I use this perpetual calendar as a table of contents. So all of these like topics here corresponds to the page back here. Here on January 9th is the Think Podcast. So if I go back here to January 9th, the Think Podcast. So all the topics here correspond to the pages here. And I find that super helpful. Up here, I've been writing what different types of like videos, podcasts, books, or things like that, that I was reading or watching or listening to. So that's the perpetual calendar. And then here's the monthly spread. Here's how January looked. So really what this is, is just an overview of my month for personal and business, just the main things or projects that are happening for the month, plus playing around with some deco, some tracking along the side. This section pretty much stays the same throughout the month. It's just for reference, but then every day I go in and mark off what I've been posting on like social media and YouTube and stuff. So that's my month and I have February all set up. And then here's my week. What I use this for is to log how many hours I'm working on particular projects. I log what projects I have and highlight how many hours I worked on each project total it at the end of each day, and then total it at the end of each week over here. So here's all the weeks. So this week is January 27th, and that's where we were seeing me falling off on certain things in these planners. And when I went back to look, I was noticing that I was doing tons of cutting and packing subs these days. So there, when I'm like in the thick of it with subs, there's not much time to do anything else. Plus there was some stuff going on at home, I remember. And so it was just a rough few days for me. And I think that's why I was falling off on documenting things and just doing things in these planners and not really having as much fun these days. And then here's the current week. So yeah, as you can see here, I had tons of hours working on the subs to get those out. I've been really actually liking this spread. I think it's fun and very like useful information for myself to see how much time I'm spending on certain things. And then here's my daily pages. So this is what I was talking about here in my perpetual calendar. So I thought I'd just do a quick little flip through to see how it's going. I left this page blank because this whole spread is for my 2024 goals, so I'm still working on those. And then sometimes it's just a quick little list and I don't fill out the page. And again, I'm trying to be okay with that. So this is really my commonplace planner where I write notes on things that I learn, brainstorming and stuff like that. 
I also do some testing out the stickers I'm designing. So for our March sticker kit, I was testing how the stickers look in transparent and white actually on a page here too. I was swatching some washi that I was hoping to try to bring to the shop. So yeah, just a bunch of that. And then I haven't written ever since that. These are just essentially page numbers for me. If I have something to write, then I write it. Or if I have something to use this page for, if not, then that's fine. And that's basically it for the daily pages. So yeah, that's how I've been keeping up with these three planners. I feel like I've been keeping up with them way better than I thought I would. And also it's been a lot more fun than I thought it would be and super informative. Just try to see how all these pieces work together. So like I said, when I'm planning, actually planning things, I'm doing everything in here. But here is to document my days and to better understand the different components of my days. So that's how January has went. We'll see each month. I thought at the end of each month, I would do a check-in with you guys tell you how it's going, tell you if anything has changed on how I'm using these. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!